All right, so today we're gonna to be doing another exercise from this book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. This is called Drawing a Chair in Negative Space. So negative space means you're not drawing the object itself, you're actually drawing the space around and in between the object. Sort of like you're creating the object by drawing the background within and around it. The first thing you need to do is you need to cover your entire paper with a light coating of graphite or pencil. And you're also going to want to try to smooth it out. You can either use your fingers or you can just use a Kleenex. That works really well to smooth it all out and blend it all together. You don't want this layer to be too dark or too light. You kind of want a nice medium toned gray. So I'm going to start by looking at the first negative space shape I see, which is this rectangle near the top of the chair, that gap between the top of the chair. And so I'm going to draw the outline of it, and then I'm actually going to erase inside it to create that gap. So now I'm actually creating the gaps in between the slats on the back of the chair. So I'm not drawing the actual pieces of wood themselves, I'm drawing the gaps in between the pieces of wood, the negative space in between them. So I'm going to draw those shapes that I see, and then I'm going to erase them. Now moving on down the chair, there's this gap in between the back of the chair and the seat. So I'm trying to focus on the shape of that gap, that negative space. Now I have a gap between the seat and one of the arms of the chair. So I'm trying to draw the shapes that I see and then I'm going to erase inside of them. Now moving on to this part below the chair. This is where it's going to get a little tricky because we have lots of different um, bars and things all crossing over each other. So you really got to pay attention to all these shapes and pay attention to how they interact. Because once you erase all these things that will create all of these different um, bars of wood should actually, you know, connect to each other. They shouldn't be disjointed. So you really got to pay attention to how big these shapes are and where these shapes are in relation to all the other shapes. Make sure you're paying attention because there's lots of little shapes in here as well. So make sure you're getting everything in there. Make sure you're not missing anything. And as I'm going through and drawing this negative space and then erasing it, I want to actually check to make sure that things are connecting. So the space that's left, the parts that's left behind that actually creates the chair, I want to make sure those parts of the chair are actually connecting to each other in the way that they should be and not disjointed. I want to make sure they're meeting up together how they should be. Now that I've finished drawing all of the negative space inside the chair itself, I'm going to draw the outline of the chair and then I'm going to erase completely around it. Once I've erased around all of the edges of the outline of the chair, I'm going to erase the rest of the background that I don't need. And 
and that is how you draw a chair using negative space. So I'm going to go over the lines just to clean everything up, just to make the shapes more apparent. I'm just going to go over where I lost some of that definition. Going over it again with my pencil. And that's it.